From the frozen poles to the lush rainforests, our planet thrives with a delicate balance. But this balance is threatened, and the consequences are far-reaching. Rising sea levels, driven by the changing climate, pose a significant threat to coastal cities around the world. In this series, we'll journey to ten such cities, exploring their unique vulnerabilities and the potential impact of rising tides. Subscribe now and join us as we delve into this critical issue facing our planet. Amsterdam, a city renowned for its picturesque canals and charming houses, faces an existential threat from the encroaching sea. Situated below sea level, this Dutch metropolis has long relied on an intricate system of dikes and canals to keep the water at bay. However, as sea levels rise at an alarming rate, this delicate balance is being pushed to its limits. The city's iconic canals, once symbols of its maritime heritage, could become channels for inundation. The very foundations of Amsterdam, built on reclaimed land, are increasingly vulnerable to erosion and subsidence. The Dutch pioneers in water management are investing heavily in innovative solutions, but the question remains, can they outrun the rising tide? In the cradle of civilization, where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers converge, lies Basra, Iraq's second largest city. This ancient metropolis, once a flourishing port, faces a double threat from climate change. Rising sea levels endanger its coastal areas, while upstream, dwindling river flows and increased salinity threaten its freshwater supply. The fertile lands that once sustained Mesopotamia are turning arid, forcing communities to relocate and straining resources. Basra's plight highlights the interconnectedness of our planet's systems and the far-reaching consequences of climate change. New Orleans, a city synonymous with jazz, gumbo and a vibrant cultural heritage, bears the scars of past battles with water. Hurricane Katrina in 2005 left an indelible mark, exposing the city's vulnerability to storm surges and flooding. Rebuilt and resilient, New Orleans faces an ongoing struggle against rising sea levels. The Mississippi River, once its lifeline, now poses a threat, carrying higher water levels that strain levees and increase flood risks. The city's unique character and cultural treasures are at stake, making its fight against the rising tide a symbol of human resilience. Chapter 4. Venice, Sinking Beauty Venice, the floating city, a masterpiece of art and architecture, faces an ironic threat, sinking beneath the waves it has captivated for centuries. Built on a lagoon, Venice has always lived in a delicate balance with the sea. However, rising sea levels, coupled with the city's own subsidence, are exacerbating the frequent aqua alta, or high water events, that inundate its streets and piazzas. The iconic St. Mark's Square, a symbol of Venice's grandeur, is increasingly submerged, threatening its historical treasures. Efforts are underway to protect Venice through a complex system of flood barriers, but the future of this fragile city remains uncertain. Chapter 5 Ho Chi Minh City, a megacity at risk Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam's bustling economic hub, exemplifies the challenges faced by rapidly urbanizing coastal cities in the face of climate change. Located on the Mekong Delta, this megacity is highly vulnerable to rising sea levels. Its low-lying areas, home to millions of people, are at risk of inundation. The Mekong River, the lifeblood of Southeast Asia, is experiencing saltwater intrusion threatening freshwater supplies and agriculture. Ho Chi Minh City's rapid growth and development must now factor in the pressing need for climate resilience to ensure its future sustainability. Chapter 6. Kolkata. A city on the brink, Kolkata, India's cultural capital, stands precariously on the Ganges Delta, a vast and fertile but increasingly vulnerable landscape. Home to over 14 million people, Kolkata faces a multitude of challenges exacerbated by climate change. Rising sea levels threaten to inundate its low-lying areas, while more intense monsoons bring the risk of catastrophic flooding. The Ganges River, revered for its spiritual significance, is also a source of pollution and disease, further jeopardizing the city's health. 
Kolkata's fight for survival is a stark reminder of the human cost of climate change. Chapter 7. Bangkok sinking under pressure. Bangkok, Thailand's vibrant capital, renowned for its ornate temples and bustling street life, faces a double threat, sinking land and rising seas. Excessive groundwater extraction has caused significant subsidence, making the city increasingly vulnerable to flooding. Rising sea levels exacerbate this problem, pushing saltwater further inland and contaminating freshwater sources. The Chow Praia River, Bangkok's lifeline, is also at risk, with higher water levels threatening its banks and the communities that depend on it. Balancing economic development with environmental sustainability is crucial to securing Bangkok's future. Chapter 8. Georgetown, the capital of Guyana, perched on the edge of South America, faces a precarious future as sea levels rise. This coastal city, known for its colonial architecture and vibrant culture, is highly susceptible to flooding. Its low-lying areas, home to a significant portion of its population, are increasingly at risk. The Atlantic Ocean, once a source of trade and prosperity, now poses an existential threat. Guyana, a country with abundant natural resources, faces the challenge of protecting its capital and its people from the encroaching sea. Chapter 9. Savannah, Georgia, a city steeped in history and southern charm, stands vulnerable to the growing threat of rising sea levels. Its location on the Atlantic coast, while picturesque, exposes it to storm surges and flooding. Hurricanes, a regular occurrence in the region, pose an increasing danger as sea levels rise, amplifying their destructive power. Savannah's historic district, with its cobblestone streets and antebellum architecture, is particularly vulnerable. Protecting this cultural treasure while adapting to the changing climate is a challenge facing this charming southern city. Chapter 10. Kulna, Bangladesh's third largest city, sits precariously in the Delta region where the Ganges, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers converge. This low-lying city, home to millions, is highly susceptible to the impacts of climate change. Rising sea levels, coupled with more intense cyclones and storm surges, pose an existential threat. The Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, provide some protection but are themselves at risk. Kulna's fate hangs in the balance as it grapples with the urgent need for climate adaptation and resilience. Outro as we've witnessed, the impact of rising sea levels is already being felt in coastal communities around the world. From the canals of Amsterdam to the delta of the Ganges, the threat is real and growing. The fate of these cities and countless others like them hangs in the balance. It is a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our planet and the urgent need for collective action. The choices we make today will determine the future of our blue planet for ourselves and for generations to come.